banging and swinging, L.E.U. gang gang. It's your girl, Lynn, back with another video. So, today, we're going to fill y'all in on this beast right here. <laughs> Nova, we about to fill y'all in on the monster. So, so I got, I got his daddy here, BJ, my brother. And BJ going to tell us how he actually got him, how he found him, how he actually ended up with Nova, and how Nova, you know, made it to the family. So, I'm going to pass the mic to you. What's the word, Bird? Tell him about it. <laughs> okay, so, at the time, I was kind of like wanting, wanting a dog so I could have a little some someone there around the house, because it was just me at the time. And so I, I wanted, I wanted a big dog. I know I, I had a small dog before Katie, um, and which she passed away um, a while back. But so what made you want a, a pit? I've always wanted a pit. Um, actually, when I was married, I wanted a pit then, but of course, even with, with no big dog, it always had to be a small dog with them. So. Um, I went and tried to go to, you know, Craigslist, trying to look for something purebred, if I could get it around a pretty decent price. And I actually came across Nova. And the one thing that really sold me on him was the fact that his eyes were gorgeous and the fact that he was already potty trained because I was not, I don't have enough patience for potty training. That's, that's just me personally. And, um, he has sold me that it was a pit bull, but I later on found out it's not really a total pit bull. It's actually he's actually American Staffordshire Terrier mixed with a little bit of bulldog. Um, now, actually, I was actually doing some research uh, last night on it, and I, I did see I was looking at the you know the differences between um, a, a pit and. And a staff. They mm -hmm. call them staffies. Yeah, staffies <laughs> and staffies. They call them staffies. Um, and they said that staffies, they are family dogs. They love being around their owner. Staffies shouldn't even actually be outside. Mm -hmm. They they grow connected to their owners and they get like anxiety if they're not with them. So mm -hmm. they make really good house dogs. Yeah, yeah, and I can definitely say he was definitely worth it for uh for quite a while because there's some moments when you know, he'll come up and he'll put his head on your lap and just look at you with those big eyes and um, <laughs> he's he's just he's just an absolute absolute uh, blessing to have, you know. But I went to um, what was it? Did I go to? It wasn't Coco. It was um, it wasn't that far past Saint Saint Augustine, and I met the guy, and I paid him about two hundred dollars for him, and I brought him back to Jacksonville. And that's how he had actually become to be a part of the family. And Linda and Brina have loved him like family ever since. <laughs> <laughs> yes, goodness. Y'all know I've been having him on the channel. Y'all been seeing him. Y'all been rocking with me. Y'all been seeing him. <laughs> yes, goodness. So, um, how old is he? Um, when I got him, his birthday had just passed in October. So he should be around two, around October time. I don't know the firm date, so I just said October first. October first. Well, that's good to know. Now we know his birthday, so we'll do something for his little birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so, is there anything else you would like to share about Noah? Well, you know, I am getting ready to relocate soon, and I am. Uh, thinking about myself and Nova at the same time. And me personally, I think it, it it would be in the best interest of Nova to be around a family that's going to be grounded, that is going to absolutely love him to death. 
won't abuse him and treat him like family. And so I think I want to go ahead and turn, turn him over to you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you telling me nobody ain't gonna go with you to Atlanta? No, no, I don't, I, I'll i be gone a lot. I'll be doing a lot of things. I'll be on my grind and everything. And I won't have enough time to give him all the attention and love he deserves, especially with me taking um, my full-time job, which has me head over heels right now. And I'm trying to go nighttime full-time as well for a little while. And so he wouldn't be able to get the attention that I really want to give to him. So this dude just dropped a bomb on me. <laughs> um, first of all, um, I was hoping that, you know, no one was going to be going with him because he's going to be by himself. You know, he's moving to a whole city and there's no one there that he's related you know to so um i was really really happy about you know um he was gonna have nova so and now he drops this on me so having a dog is a really really big responsibility it so is. um it's like another kid. It really is. Except they are. Except this one. This one you have to walk and feed um, every single day, and you have to you have to be uh, attentive, but not maybe not as much as a child. But you still have to be attentive and give them everything they need as well. So it's not like you could just keep them there all day by themselves. All right, LA, you gang. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer that question right now because this is something that I'm going to have to think about. <laughs> so what y'all think I should do? You know what? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know because I'm I, right now I'm at a loss of words. I, I just, I don't know. This is unbelievable. And to know that he will be leaving the family, if I don't consider getting him, I don't know, y'all. I can't I can't answer that right now. So um on that note, <laughs> do you got something else to say, BJ? Cause I just don't know. I'm I'm um my heart is broken right now. My my heart is is really broken. So um All right, y'all. I ain't gonna cry. I'm gonna hold these tears back. I'm gonna hold these tears back. <laughs> look at, him. look at him. He just wants to be loved. I, woo. DJ, you got something else you wanna say about now? No, this is my little monster, and I know he'll be in good hands though. All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you had and if you enjoyed my content. But um, we're gonna have to check you guys in the next video. So, peace, peace out. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe like, and share. See you in the next video.